Why, hello there, boys and girls. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about whatever is on my mind. And if there's something silly I want to check out, I'm going to do it. And today we're going to be talking about this group called Clown Course. So, if you watch uh, the guy that does, uh, what's it called, 50, where he does like uh, 20 second songs and he does that stuff, I have him on notifications. I call it Blast. I got some people on Blast where they pop on my phone and this popped up. And then I was watching it said, Clown core, and I'm like, wait a minute, a core? I gotta see this shenanigans. So, if you don't know what clown core is, clown core is basically the concept where they take heavy death metal and they added silly little circusy, uh, cartoony sounds where you're listening to them and going, what in the world is this? Here, this is a prime example. Oh, this was, this is literally done by Adult Swim. That explains a lot. I didn't even notice this, or unless, uh, you have no idea what I'm capable of. Puts Dong on keyboard. <laughs> I severely underestimated his statement. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. That's the best way I can explain it. The dude took his dick out and put it on the keyboard. I don't know how to respond to that. I don't know what to say to it. I'm baffled, confused, bewildered. I need an adult. But uh, I don't know if Clown Core was specifically designed and created by Adult Swim or they were, let me see, what Clown Core actually is. This, I just found this out um, exactly what the real Clown Core is, which I thought it was adorable because, okay, a little backstory about myself real quick. If you don't know, uh, if you didn't know about me, uh, growing up, and to this day, my mom uh, loves clowns. Not, she likes happy clowns. She likes silly clowns, especially hobo clowns. To my mom, clowns are adorable. Those are her things. Not creepy clowns like uh, It or any other movie genre where they use clowns to be really fucked up and weird. Not like John Wayne Gacy, nothing like that. But my mom likes um, uh, clowns like, you know, those, like I just said, um, hobo clowns, porcelain hobo clowns, those are her things. But um, as you can read on the screen, it says clown core, also known as circus core or clown punk, uh, surrounds uh, things such as clowns, mimes, and jesters. Content uh, from the aesthetic is usually bright and happy, although some portrayals of clown core can have uh, horror influences. Other related aesthetics similar to clown core can also have uh, dark or disturbing content. See Juggalo for the goth inspired subculture see fanfare for the circus uh, amusement park aesthetic i actually really respect this because okay i guess deep down uh if i had to select the pony that protruded my personality the best i think protruded is the word i'm thinking of but i would say pinkie pie is probably the closest thing that uh would describe me as a person in general uh then my favorite pony is applejack third is um what I wish I was with the vinyl scratch, but that's another story. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. I already looked at this, and that's why I was really good at reading that out loud. These aren't bad. These are pretty dope, but you're not going to really see that very often. Um, this is Aesthetic Top Phantom. You know what? Let's type in Furry Core, see what pops up. What? No Furry Core. Hey, let's just type in Furry, see what comes up. It just comes up as Furry. Furries! Experience uh, experience their fandom mini, uh, mainly through art of their own characters and others. How these furries characterized or depicted can differ in many OCs. Blah blah blah. Tacky. Um, no one's ma in many OCs. Tacky. Wait. I'm just seeing. Obviously, not all furries have this aesthetic and pr uh, principal virtue and aesthetic may be uh, combined with furry characters, visual, fashion, versus tailors. Really. Two stupid furs, I respect that. Uh, I hope one day I can get on this list. Not even like, seriously, I really hope that it comes up and says terabyte and I'll be like, yes! Or it says Toon Wolf Industries. Stuffed Panda Studios, I love that. Made, yeah, made for you. Huh, I love that name. Music under construction. <laughs> okay, honestly, I'm sort of happy that they don't. Uh, let me see, throughout the fa furry fandom, uh, there are quite a few uh, species that exist in real life, including wolf, cat, dog, bunny, fox, bird, fish, dog. 
Uh, a Dutch Angel Dragon is uh, is apparently a closed one, which I think is fucking stupid. Some people uh, make hybrids. Uh, also, known, if you see my video, you can also see um, you can also see what I've made too, which uh, I did a video on this. I've never heard of this. I love that people always like want to shit on us furries, but you don't know the first thing about us. Therefore, you're like, I'm gonna be a dick for no reason. It's like, dude, grow the fuck up, please grow up. Actually, I want to try one more core. Uh, honestly, I should just rename this to what cores there are out there, like what aesthetics, which would be pretty cool. Uh, clown core. Let's try. Will steampunk just be a thing by itself? Self, self, stealth, stealthy. Um, steampunk's definitely one of my more favorite. It's but. Cyberpunk. Uh, Cyberpunk is basically one of those genres, uh, decades of origins. Uh, it's definitely one of those origins. If you don't know what Cyberpunk is, please Google it by now. Just type in Synthwave and go nuts. You will love it. Oh, I'm disappointed. Punk. I like how this basically has them also games, movies, TVs, videos, wikis. What wikis? I wanted to see a bunch of other cores. Oh, that's right, Diesel Punk. I forgot about Diesel Punk. Diesel Punk, or also aka known as Deco Punk. Deco Punk, also known as Cole Punk. Uh, is a subset of Diesel Punk centered around Art Deco and uh, the art style based of uh, the cities, New York, Chicago, Boston, the period. Oh! Okay, I get the point of Diesel Punk. Okay, so that's what Diesel Punk is. So Diesel Punk basically is just the idea behind like if we went a little further back into Fallout, just a couple, like, two or three decades more, because, you know, the whole idea behind, um, Fallout is that it's based in the 30s and 40s. Like, between 30s and, the, like, early, early 50s, which is why you hear, um, I would say right before the 60s, because that was during, like, the 40s and 50s where you would hear a lot of Frank Sinatra. Because Frank Sinatra is one of my favorite artists of all time, even if he is dead. But the whole idea behind Diesel Punk is that they were trapped in the 20s, but they sort of, you know, their their machines over time did, you know, go. They did like advance, but they kept the aesthetics of the 20s. Which honestly, I would love to see real vehicles still look like that. That'd be that'd be dope as fuck. But yeah, Diesel Punk is definitely one of my more favorited um, genres. But maybe, uh, I just wanted to talk about that for a few minutes, and I think that, uh, I'll definitely talk about other types of, uh, cores, other types of, you know, sub-genres, because, I mean, there's so many out there that are just cool as shit, and honestly, like, clown, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, after finding out what clown core was, like, not this clown core, but the other clown core, the one I said that reminds me of Pinkie Pie, that one's definitely one that I like, but as for this... You can tell if this music videos witness what uh, buy stuff, give us money. I love that this is just so early internet, internet website clowncore. I love that this is so like old school internet. That's what I like. I respect it, but I just find it <laughs> to reach clowncore email business clowncore. Clown business email. <laughs> Clown business email at Gmail. That is so dumb. I love it. But yeah, this there's really nothing to it. It's just some guys fucking around in a van and sometimes in a porta body, making really janky bullshit music that makes absolutely no fucking sense. So anyways, I think for the last 12 minutes, that is really all I want to show off. Different type of chords. I think. As somebody who has, you know, traversed all over the internet, I think at some point I will do another video based on the different uh, subsets of different things uh, between cyberpunk, steampunk, clown, maybe clowncore again, like the actual clowncore, not this. And uh, of course, my all-time favorite will always be steam. Let me see. 
Uh, Cyberpunk. Okay, Cyberpunk, Steampunk, Clown Court. Hold on a minute. Last couple things, like I always say, uh, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, the notification bell, and don't forget, if you would like to support me and my channel, uh, links are down below for my Etsy, uh, and my two coffee links, coffee.com, and my buy me a coffee as well. Subscribe to those if you'd like to, uh, you know, help out with my channel, and if you pay me enough, I'll do a video for you as well. But the likelihood of you actually going out of your way to, say, do me a video based on blah, blah, blah. I highly doubt it, you know. Here's $5,000. I want you to make a video on pissing. Be like, all right, what do you want to know? <laughs> this is the dumbest thing possible. I want to see you get a Yu-Gi-Oh deck and rip every single card in it just because. I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Again, come back to my channel anytime you like. Have fun. See you later.